Hi YouTube, this is Ashley Ashlock. I was checking in, giving a life and lock update. I know it's been a while. I know, please don't come for me, don't come for me. But I just wanted to come in and do a lock video. I know that I have now reached 100 subscribers. <laughs> Yay, it's been a long, long time coming. But I just wanted to kind of update with my locks. I am two months away from being five years locked. Five, single, five. Yes, it's been a long time, a long road, and pretty much I'm at the point now where the locks are just living their best life by themselves, um, so it's relatively easy for me. So I just wanted to do a quick video um, to let you know exactly what I am doing with my locks, and now it is so much more simpler for me. I just basically, I'm still washing my hair. Um, weekly sometimes i will go bi-weekly but for 90 percent of the time i like to go weekly and that's because my scalp is kind of trained to be in washed frequently and i just wash my hair um i would do two washes my first wash it's with the horse mane like the big i just ran out of it otherwise i would show the bottle but just like the big really cheap lotion that I use for my first wash I it does feel very drying um, but it's just that my hair is at the point now that it's really really long and takes a lot of shampoo so I just do that to just sort of like do a real scrub scrub squeaky clean wash and then I go in again with the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil I go in with this, I keep a scrunchie around it because I like to tie my hair up after I'm done washing while in the shower because I just don't want my hair getting everywhere. And then when I get out the shower, I tie my hair in a um, towel, I have a black towel. And then once it's kind of semi dry, not just dripping, I oil my hair with the Moroccan oil. This is really, really good for your hair. Um, there was a point when I was using this on a daily basis with after I would spray some of my, um, this is, as I am, Jamaican black castor water. This is what I use. I didn't really feel like making a concoction to make my water bottle, so I just use that. It's already pre-made. It's very easy for me. And then I will put some oil on my hair. If I don't, I just make sure that I spray it daily. Like I spray it daily no matter what, if it's not a wash day. But when I was using this on a consistent basis, my locks were shining. Like literally healthy shine. Not like, oh, your hair is oily, girl. It was like shining. Like just like really, really shiny and looked very, very healthy. But this is about $30 or so. So... I stop using it every day, but it's really, really good. So I just use it for wash days, and I may use it um, maybe one other day throughout the week, but it's very, very good for my locks. So my locks, I now notice, being that my locks are almost five years old, that my locks have certain locks which have some weak points in them. And I'll go over, I'll show you some of those. If, let me find them. For example right here I have really bad build up this is my, actually my back lock like it's in the back so I found myself picking on my lock years ago and because of that I would suggest you do not pick your locks if you see build up just kind of ignore it um, what I do sometimes when I see it if it's really getting to me is I'll take a black mascara and I'll just like put it over the build up just it's like a temporary color because I do not dye my locks. It's just for me mentally to not have it. But this lock is so weak now. It's really, really weak. And it's because I was picking at the buildup. As you see, it's like right there in the area. And then it just makes the lock weak. And I did this like over a year ago. But this part of the lock will not solidify. I, to get super solid, I have... Um, went in with the crochet needle to try to make it tight and it just did not work and so I would suggest if you see <sighs> here's another one that's a very this lock has thin parts to it and it's not hard in this section here like compared to the rest of the lock it's very very weak 
but it's still secure enough where I do not need to cut it. I had another lock which was very, very thin in the area and I had to cut it off because I just, I didn't want to be walking around and have a lock pop off on me. So I would suggest you could take control of your lock and cut as needed rather than your lock just popping off because it doesn't want to be there. So I noticed I have those weak spots. It's mostly from the very beginning. I cannot really say what besides the one where I was picking at I don't really know what accounted for some of these locks being very flimsy in certain areas as you can see yeah and it just never really got sturdy like the rest of the lock I do not really know because it's in the front of my hair I do tie it up like this when I'm eating but that would not affect the ones that had those problem areas. I do not have my hair in tight ponytails. Um, I would use the huge jumbo scrunchie such as this if I do have my hair up or either one of the ties were one of the lock ties that are separated and you just lock it together. I don't have one around me. Um, but yeah, so your locks, some locks will have thinner areas and if you have any that are having really, really dimming problems, I would just go ahead and cut those locks. I would not just continue to walk around with that lock and have it pop off and someone tell you, excuse me, your your piece of your lock is on the floor. That would be very embarrassing. So <laughs> that's why I have to cut one of mine's. That's really all of the updates I have for my locks. They are still growing. Um, yeah, hang on, let me see you guys. Yeah, it's, there are some, the one that I cut was actually the longest lock. If you can see here, that's this is the one that I cut, which is why the tip is kind of... Is this the one? Let me see. Is that it? Because once you cut your lock, it, it does not have the pointy tip for a while. No, this one is the one I did. So it's like, this is the one I cut. You can see from the end, it has to lock back up or I could have taken a crochet needle and kind of like made it lock into place but I didn't feel like doing that when I did it I just you know cut that dead part of the lock off and kept it going but yeah so I'm just keeping my hair very basic just washing once a week spraying every day oiling after wash day in the middle of the week and that's very basic of what I'm doing. I will be having a video soon. Uh, my son actually is now officially locked. He's one year locked. He's been wanting to do a video so I will be doing a video with him so you guys can see his process. He will be a year in a month. So he's about 11 months. I don't have his exact date because he went back and forth with if he just wanted a twist versus a lock and so by the time he officially wanted the lock I didn't really remember the date because I wasn't really sure but he is now because I know it was in January, so it's sometime within that. So I will have a video for you guys with him so you guys can see that process. And this is very interesting for me because this is the, um, aside from myself, the third set of locks that I've done. So I, I think it's really, really good. So I have now, including myself, three heads of locks that I have created. And yeah, so in this... <laughs> This right here is just like a random curl that sticks out in the middle of my lock. I do not know if this happened for me because this is something new that I've seen and I'm pretty sure I did it and I do not know what I did but it's done. <laughs> but this is Ashley Ashlock. I will do a quick turnaround for you guys so I kind of showed the front. Let me see how to get around here. My back. I don't think I'm going to be able to show you my whole back, but um, yeah, my locks, um, I have locks that are, they're, they're growing and I do, if like I said, if anything is needs to be cut, I do cut it and it's getting to the point that I may just do a cut to a certain length all around. I'm kind of waiting for my front ones to catch up, which they are now starting to do. Um, these were the ones that I kept on trying to have as a bane. So as my bangs so it took a while um, for them to finally start to grow out but here I am and this is Ashley Ashlock checking in peace